Paris in the springtime. These images capturing attention worldwide over the past three weeks. And for those protesting, the build-up of rubbish has been a constant fuel to light up the streets of the capital. The anger against President Macron's pension reform has left almost 7,000 tonnes of rubbish pile up, making some streets a no-go for tourists and businesses without customers. Even iconic and exclusive areas no longer fit for a picture postcard. Point made for now, says the union. We need to discuss again with the representatives of the waste and sanitation sector in order to go back to the strike stronger because we have almost no workers left striking. It brings a pause to the political tug of war taking place in the city, with the government requisitioning some strikers for basic duties and the Paris mayor, Anne Hidalgo, backing the workers to keep away. And support from locals here only goes so far. I'm telling you, everyone defends their own parish, but we need, you know, a minimum service to avoid this proliferation. Just now, there was a big rat over there. You see, it wasn't very nice. The situation is catastrophic for the residents, for the whole of Paris, as well as for the tourists. The most beautiful city in the world is Paris. You just have to look at what's going on and what we and the poor tourists experience every day. A return to street cleaning will bring sweet relief for Parisians and with it respite for the government. But with so much to clear, unions warn the sight and the smell will take time to fade.